Hello, I will be unboxing and sharing my first impressions and reviews of some of our top purchases for our home. While it's very fun to sit on my husband's shoulders to change our curtains or clean the fan, it's not very sustainable and we decided to get a ladder after a while. One of the legs was damaged during the shipping, but thankfully the seller provided an extra silicone cover along with the other freebies. They take some effort to be expanded, but it might get easier over time. There's also a latch at the back to secure the ladder in place to make sure that it won't collapse on itself while we're using it. The handle is covered by a thick layer of foamy, sponge-like material, which makes it slightly more comfortable when holding onto it. There is some texture on the metal parts of the ladder, which we are okay with as this is a very affordable ladder. They also gave us a free screwdriver with a rubber grip case, which you can slot into the small retractable tool holder on the right. This will make it easier for you to grab whatever you need without having to spend extra energy going up and down the ladder. The surface area of each step is larger than the usual aluminium ladders, but this also means that the steps have more overlap vertically and gives you less space allowance for your legs when moving up and down. We also got some rubber gym mats to protect the floor tiles from my husband's gym equipment. We bought 6 squares in total and they are really very heavy. They kind of remind me of the playground floor but these are smoother and are less crumbly. We chose the ones with 2.5cm thickness and they have pretty good quality overall. They have circular rounds like these on the underside and can be held together using the plastic connectors. However, the mats were very dusty even though they were wrapped securely so it might not be the best idea to open them right after your partner mops the floor. These were extras we got from our previous purchases. I am not a very gentle person by nature and my husband always very hard pain when I accidentally slam our doors or door handles into the walls. This comes with a double-sided tape around the edges and it's quite secure. So far, the ones we have stuck around one and a half years ago are holding up pretty well and shows no signs of falling off anytime soon. Before moving on to the kitchen items, please allow me to do my job that will earn me a multi-cooker, mini blender, wooden tray and double coaster. So these four items are part of Taobao X Gems, which is a new section on Taobao that features selected items that are evaluated to be fun, aesthetic and multifunctional. Personally, I think this can help you to shorten your Taobao mining process if you vibe along with whoever that's curating this feed. With that, let's move on to the first kitchen item, which is the multi-cooker. It comes with a plug that's meant for electrical sockets in China, which means that we'll have to use a travel adapter. The cover comes with a nice wooden knob and it's quite thin. It's light and easy to handle, but doesn't feel as sturdy and solid as the usual cookware lids. The grill pan came together as a set with the multi-cooker and it's a shallow pan with parallel grid lines. There's a unique texture along the edges and the underside has a rectangular border that fits onto the heating rod in the centre of the appliance. There are some uneven or rough edges across different portions of the appliance if you look closely, so it's probably not for you if these finishing details are important to you. The main body has wooden handles mounted onto each side and they have a smooth and matte texture just like the wooden knob on the pot cover. The settings are controlled by this wooden knob at the front with cute patterns and you can slide between on-off, 
low, medium, and high heat. A round piece of felt-like material is stuck onto each leg, and the underside has more rough edges. The other pants came in a half-deflated bubble wrap, but they all arrived safely without damages. There is a takoyaki pan for takoyaki, and a deeper pan for soups and steamboating. Personally, I think it looks okay with the grill or takoyaki pan, but looks a little bit awkward with the deeper soup pan as there's a larger gap in between the tray and the cooker. However, the cooker still looks very beautiful and aesthetic with its white and wood colour scheme just like our house. I freaked out when I saw some smoke coming out, but the instruction manual mentioned that this is normal when using the cooker for the first time. It took about 20 minutes to brown the takoyaki completely on high heat, which was lower than expected. However, it took less time for subsequent tries, so the machine might be warming up during the first few times of using it. Throughout the entire cooking process, the appliance was consistently making this tak 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 sound periodically, and it seems to be related to its heating system. I texted the brand's CS, and he or she shared that the sounds are normal as long as the plates can be heated up. I turned on the cooker again after resting it for about 20 minutes and this time there was no tak tak sound anymore. There was still a bit of tak tak sounds but it was a lot less frequent and intense compared to the first time I used it. Generally, the temperature drops after adding food and the cooker takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get its temperature back up which isn't the best when you're hungry. However, it's relatively affordable compared to other branded cookers like Bruno, so expectations might have to be adjusted based on its price. I will have to use it for a longer time to find out whether this is a standard performance or just a thieving issue. The mini blender has a very simple and minimally setup. It comes with a Triton cup and the blender motor itself is inside this top piece. Both its charging wire and manual were missing, but it was later found to be due to the customs check during shipping. The blender will only turn on if you close the cup tightly such that the two markings match. It will also only start when you click the button twice, and this prevents accidental blending when you're bringing it around. The first avocado and soy milk combi did surprisingly well, and was pretty smooth by the end of the first blend. I blended it for the second time as I forgot to add honey, and the 300ml capacity fills an IKEA or IKEA glass nicely. It definitely requires some manual help with frozen fruits. There were one or two times when it wasn't attacking anything, and you will need to deploy your Shuang Tian Zhi Zun skills to get it back on track. You can clean a blender by blending soap water, but I still think that it's cleaner to wash it manually. Overall, I really really like this mini blender as it saves us a lot of time from washing the entire blender setup each time we drink smoothies. 
This wooden tray was chosen for me by Tapal SG. It has a nice solid feel to it and it's quite thick and sturdy. Its corners are rounded and has raised curved edges around the sides. The size is pretty good as a serving tray for one, but we are currently using it as a tray for our water jugs. The double coaster was also chosen by Taobao SG and it's from the same seller as the wooden tray. This one arrived without any packaging and it had a small chip at the side which was quite negligible. Sadly, there were quite a bit of scratches on both sides and the material doesn't feel as solid as the previous wooden tray. You can't use it as a tray as it doesn't have raised edges or handles at the side to pick it up and you will have to slide it off the counter like this if you want to carry everything at once. I got a smaller silicone spatula to scrape the sides of our blender as I was afraid that the larger one would be damaged by the blades. It's not really an essential kitchen item, but more of a good to have. This is from a brand called Cake Land, and the quality of the spatula is really good and sturdy. My larger one from the same brand remains as white and nice after one and a half years of using it. During my latest declutter, I found that we had new kitchen cloths and decided to change our current ones as I accidentally burnt one of them last month. They come in a very pretty dark grey and is quite thick and fluffy. So far, they absorb water pretty well and don't leave those weird water streaks or marks when cleaning our stove top. We also have an extra hand cloth from our previous purchase and this is from one of my favourite sellers called Lan Xiao Luo. Although it feels soft, fluffy and luxurious, I don't recommend this as it takes some time to dry after wiping your hands. To enter the giveaway, please leave a comment with one life lesson you'd like to share and follow Top of Singapore's Instagram. Remember to check out only during sales and 99 is coming up if you're watching this in late August or early September. All the best and bye!